What's wrong with we George Ward? Hmm. <laughs> arriving there in White Beach when he saw his brother who was sitting in the siding. Hello, me Georgie Wood. Oh, I know Duncan. I know you don't like seeing me like this, but I went visiting Ida Bay and found some parts of my sister. He showed him some photos taken from his place. Is that your sister's part? Yes, this is the bottom part. Quite wheelless it is. In his cab was Melody. He's been missing his sister who never made it. We can't bring her back like this, even when she's scrapped. Her parts were given to me, so I could avoid getting no repairs. Duncan could see he still remembers his sister. Just a rusted display. Eighteen years of service, and she had no runs when taken apart. Are we doing your anniversary when you nearly lost your life? Yes, it is. My secretary told me, but I want to change it to something else. Memories of my nearly loss of me gets me all droop inside. So does heaviness. told his friends about his brother not wanting an anniversary of when his life is nearly lost. Oh dear, he doesn't want to have that sort to bring back bad memories. There must be something in his anniversary. He could have Melody came up. What about celebrating when you, Douglas and me, Georgie, helped a boy named Tom Adventure? That's a good idea. Let's all visit Owen. Let me come. I have to get home.
They went away to find Tellingdon's railway. At last, they found it. And that's Tellingdon who was ready for work. Oh, hello, he said. What are you lot doing here? Where to have we George's anniversary, said Scarlett, about Tom Adventure. Oh, I see. You can have it at the new branch line just over there. Come on, you George. Oh. So done, you lot. They all gathered in the new location and found Tom's grave. Douglas, who was with them, was in charge of the ceremony, doing his speech. We are gathered here for we Georgia Woods anniversary of when we helped Tom adventure. It's about when he wanted to save our country, Tasman Sodor. I don't live there, and... It isn't mine. By taking his body here, where he was to be buried, any person with issues aren't to be known to any muggle, except one, that's Melody. Thank you, driver. This is his book. He got from Tasman Sogor. It shows his story. A bit cruel, so I can't read it. Duncan had his turn. When we first met Tom Adventure, he was taken from us to the Ida Bay Mountains. It was great for him to be there, working all right, till he had trouble from anyone who wanted to ask him questions that she ignored. Thank you, driver. I have this hat. He dropped that to go with the book. He never likes it clean, and there's another thing. He never goes to school. He does it without going to it. No one, when they have issues that causes anything, I don't know why he has those, but he wishes he never has them. Thank you, Duncan. Now it's my turn. He Georgia did his last speech. The last hours was when he, we took him here. That was when he died. We had to keep him hidden because, look, this is when this lady had been walk struggling and he was sent to an orphanage an always poor convict he would be, and what troubles he had was he was to live with rough hooligans, a chim in an empty bed, all alone, in where he was sent, and 
was taken to some building and only served one bowl of oatmeal. Oh, it's a nasty place. I wouldn't like to visit it. That was in 1929. Got into poor law, which is strong and wise. I'm glad I missed all that when I was sent to Tasman Soto in 1924, but what about Fagan and Tom Sykes? They're not a friendly lot. I don't like the looks on that man's face. And that's how he came to Tasman Soto. All the engines looked at the grave of Tom's, putting what was part of him there. The boys resting in peace of where to give him what he left behind. Let heaven know he's to be reunited with some help from all of us and me. Yes, this book you have written your life in, your hat when you were a driver, and this photo of your mother's last hours. Well, that's that. But let me put these photos of my sister with them, just to show him the fate she had. Gee wee, Georgie. Was that your way of not wanting to have a bad memory haunting you? Well, Duncan, I had to give the grave the photos because I like to collect the good memories. Come on, you lot. You better get back to Tasman Soto. Thanks for getting me home, by the way. You're welcome, Betty. Goodbye.